and welcome everyone to another edition of Faye Fitness. Today is going to be a Cooking with Faye video and I'm going to teach you how to make these vegan gluten-free protein balls using only five ingredients. So it's really fast and easy to make. These make for a great breakfast on the go, especially if you're trying to incorporate more protein and healthy fats into your diet um, just to lead a healthier lifestyle. So if you are curious as how to make these little guys, Stay tuned and I'll show you how. Thank you so much for tuning in today everyone. As you saw in the introduction, we're going to be making some power protein breakfast bars using only five ingredients. So this recipe is going to be vegan and gluten free, um, but feel free to make this your own and make any alterations as you see fit. So the first thing we're gonna start out with is three quarters cup of protein powder. This is just some vegan protein powder that I've really been liking lately. Um, I just nabbed this off of Amazon and the flavor is chocolate mocha, which is gonna go really well with the peanut butter that we're gonna be adding later. Um, if you don't wanna use, like this is a combination of pea protein and rice protein. If you don't wanna do that, you can use either straight pea protein, straight rice protein, or if you don't care about it being vegan, um, definitely feel free to add whey. You know, it's whatever works best for you. You can also use vanilla if you don't like chocolate or the mocha flavor. So again, you just try it out, see what you like it, and then make adjustments accordingly. Next, we're going to be using half a cup of peanut butter or just some kind of nut butter. You could use cashew. Um, I have some almond butter here that you could use as well. Um, it's just totally up to you. I'm just trying to use the rest of this. Um, so I'm just going to be go ahead and using that for this recipe. We're going to be using two tablespoons of coconut. Feel free to, if you want to, just make this a little bit more fancy to toast your coconut before putting it in the breakfast bars. Um, kind of feeling lazy today, so I'm not going to. And I just like coconut as is. So next we're going to be using two tablespoons of honey. This is fresh honey from one of my friends. Um, she has about 14 hives this summer, I think she said. So this is just honey from one of her hives. Um, if you are a vegan who doesn't do honey, that's totally fine. Feel free to use agave nectar or maple syrup and just keep it at two tablespoons. Um, but I really like honey and I know she takes really good care of her bees, so that's not a concern for me. Last but not least, we're gonna be putting two tablespoons of hemp hearts in here. Um, if you don't like hemp hearts, feel free to use, say, sunflower kernels or pecans. Um, if I had some walnuts, I'd show you some walnuts, but sorry, I ate them all. Um, so any kind of nut you want. I just wanna make the protein content as high as possible, um, just because that's how I'm tailoring my diet with the weightlifting and, and all of that. Um, but again, feel free to make it your own. So next we are going to need a big mixing bowl and a measuring cup. Easy peasy. So let's go ahead and start popping everything into our bowl and make some breakfast bars. Okay, as you can see, I have all of our tasty ingredients in the container here. So what I'm gonna do now is just mix it up and we will be right back. So we have everything all mixed together now and this is the consistency of what it should look like. Um, if it's a little too dry for you, feel free to add a little bit of liquid to this just to make it a consistency that you like. And if you wanted to make bars out of this, my recommendation is in the same pan, go ahead and smooth everything out till it's a nice flat level um, surface. Pop a lid on it, put it in the fridge for maybe 30, 45 minutes till it's nice and cool, everything's had a chance to think about itself and set. And then you can use a butter knife to cut it up into bars. Um, but I think they're gonna look pretty darn cute as little um, protein balls. So what I'm gonna do is just shape these into balls and we'll be right back. And here you have it guys. This is what the finished product will look like if you turn it into the little breakfast balls. Um, I've already eaten one and they're delicious. I really love this recipe. I make it all the time. They're just so quick and easy to just grab and go in the mornings. Um, and it's a great way to add a little bit more healthy protein and healthy fats into your diet, especially if you're just getting into like weightlifting or any kind of running cardio routine and the protein would be beneficial to you. Um, as always, if you have additional 
additional questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And please give this a whirl on your own. Give it a try and let me know what you think and what kind of modifications you've made. So until next time, bye guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today, everyone. I really appreciate the views and the support and the community that we're forming here on my channel. If you would like to watch another great video, please click on either side of the screen here to watch either a popular upload or one of my most recent videos that I've uploaded. And as always, if you have questions, please leave them in the comments down below of any video. I check this channel very often and try to stay up to date on everything. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all of my new content. So again, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure getting to know all of you, and I hope to interact with more of you in the future. Until then, bye guys.